Hey y'all, so it's Tasia. Um, today I am going to be doing a first impressions. Maybe I should get the foundation first. I'm gonna be doing a first impression. <laughs> I can't talk. A first impressions on um, this new um, brand in the drugstore. Well, specifically Walmart. I found it at Walmart, and it's called Koki Professional, and it's the Skin Perfect HD Foundation. Looks like this. Very cute packaging. It's like this frosted glass. You know, very sturdy, has like a cap, pump, always, you know, a great thing. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing a first impressions. I already did my eyes. There will be a tutorial on this look. So definitely if you see me in the same ensemble, that's what it is because this look was filmed today. So they'll both be up around the same time. I've already primed, moisturized, all that using my standard primers, my baby skin, and my black gradients. So if you want to see how I like or dislike this foundation keep on watching all right so I'm gonna go in um, straight on because I've already moisturized primes and all that stuff and I'm going to use my beauty blender I would try to like do a brush as well but I don't really use any brushes for foundation um, so I don't really have brushes to use I can use actually I can try this um, Real Techniques buffing brush. So yeah, I'm gonna do one side with a beauty sponge um, and the other side with a brush. So I'm gonna do this side with my Real Techniques blending sponge, sponge, uh, sponge. I can't talk. I'm just gonna do like pump. Well, let me tell you what it says. Oh, it's just a shaking. But it says a medium coverage natural finish foundation that offers flawless high Def perfection in every light. So it doesn't, I'm guessing it doesn't have any SPF in it and it shouldn't give you any flashback because it says it offers HD perfection in every light and I don't see SPF on here. So that's good. We'll give you a white cast. Um, I want to say their shade ranges were really, you know, versatile. This was, well, in the Walmart that I went to, this was the darkest shade I could find. And it looked, um, it looked like it was the darkest shade that they had advertised. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. So, I've definitely seen brands with worse shade options. Okay, so, it looks very smooth. Um, it says it's a natural finish, so it doesn't feel... Um, matte or anything um, it looks very smooth and natural um, so yeah I want to say it's a good color match for me I'm just gonna blend it down so just in case I mean it's a, it's a little a little light but not bad um yeah but it looks good let me actually take this scarf off because these baby hair should be fine now I don't want to have like a visible line so I'm just going to get a little bit more from my forehead area Oops. so yeah it's um it looks very buildable buildable um I did one layer over my face area and because I had like a little extra too much on my forehead um, I added more to the cheeks and stuff and it's very buildable it's not looking all uh, any weird or anything definitely could go to full coverage but mostly like medium coverage foundations look full coverage on me because I don't necessarily have that many blemishes to cover up or anything like that so a lot of things will look like full coverage I don't necessarily have I don't think I really have any full straight full-on full coverage foundations in my collection not that I can think of at the moment so with the buffing brush we're just gonna see like is there like you know a covered coverage difference or anything like that so yeah I'm just gonna apply it straight to my face like that I think that should be So I've never really, I've never actually applied. Well, no, 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 I take that back. When I first got, in, oh, my earring. I'll just put that on after. When I first got into makeup, I got this BH Cosmetics brush set, and I, that's the only thing I had. 
and I was using those brushes. But ever since I got introduced to real technique sponges, I've never used a brush for foundation ever since then. So it looks really good. It doesn't. It looks pretty much the same on both sides to me. I don't see any like major coverage difference. Okay, that's not broken out. I don't see any like major differences between like doing a brush and doing a beauty blender. So it's really your preference actually if you want to do brush over sponge or vice versa. But as you can see, it's really, there's no, I don't see any difference. At least I don't see any difference between coverage or application. It doesn't look streaky with the brush. It doesn't look more flawless or anything like that. The beauty sponge doesn't take from coverage or anything like that. It's just, you know, seems like it's an all over good foundation. So yeah, just buffing that in. Look into my mirror right here and just see. Looks good. Right. So it looks good to me. Um, I put my earring back on so I don't look crazy. All right. Um, it still feels a little. I'm not gonna say wet, but um, definitely there's like uh, it will transfer. Um, but it doesn't. Look dewy, doesn't look too matte. It basically is what it says, like a natural finish. I mean, it's a little light for me, um, but I can finesse that with contour and bronzer to, you know, bring back some color. But, um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and see how it holds up with all of my other products and like see if anything, you know, crazy happens. So I'll see you guys when I am done with that. All right guys, so my face is complete. Um, I wanna say this foundation, it was, it held up very well. Um, I like the finish of it. It still doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look hella dewy either. It's like perfect, like it's literally a natural finish. Um, I, I wanna say like my skin looks very smooth, like adding all the products on top of it, it still looks very smooth and flawless so I went from as of now I will definitely give this foundation a two big thumbs up for this because it was it's good it, it's good like I mean I don't know what else to say it's a good foundation but I will definitely keep you guys posted I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day um and I'll leave in the description box or I'll like just leave a comment or whatever telling you guys how it held up and you know if it like broke up in areas or anything like that because I do have like somewhat oily skin like in my t-zone area it gets pretty oily especially like around my nose so yeah i will let you guys know how that holds up um if anything gets a little crazy but yeah i mean i really like it i feel like it looks very flawless um oh before i forget i have to do the flash test so let me do that right now and i'll insert the picture in uh this video so you guys know how it okay i don't see no type of flashback whatsoever i will definitely put this photo in all right so that's all i have for you guys um make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing these first impressions videos definitely subscribe and click that bell by the subscribe button so you're notified every time that i post a video and that's the only way you become part of this so fantastic family um also comment down below so bye guys